Have you ever wondered how to make your videos pop with added images? Adding images can significantly boost your video's appeal and clarity. Today I'll guide you through a straightforward process of how to add images to your videos, making them more engaging and informative. Let's get right into it. This is Riverside, a platform that simplifies video content creation. Beyond just adding images, Riverside offers a bunch of features for recording and editing audio and video with ease. It's perfect for creators at any skill level. So first up, sign up for Riverside and try it out for free. Once you're logged in, create a studio. Let's call this one Visual Enhancements. Now, if you're starting fresh, you can use Riverside's recording feature. I'll link a video above to help you with this. But if you're here to enhance existing videos with images, simply upload your footage. You can upload videos in whatever aspect ratio you'd like, square, vertical, or landscape. Now for the main event, adding the images. Select your video, and then navigate into the editor by selecting Edit, Create New Edit. Now, there are two tools we're gonna focus on here. You see the Image tool and the Uploads tool. Under the Images tab, you can search through royalty-free images, or if you wanna upload your own image, head to Uploads, and you can select Upload to upload your image. I've already uploaded one here, so I will just add that to the video, and you'll see that it will overlay on top of the video. You can play around with the size of the image, and things like the opacity. Now, if you wanna adjust your image to cover the whole screen of your video, you're going to need to resize your image to be the aspect ratio of your video. Tools like Canva are great for this. Simply create a canvas that is the aspect ratio that you'd like your image to be. So if your video is in landscape and you want the image to take up the full video, you're going to need to create a canvas in a 16 to nine ratio, something like 1920 by 1080. If your video is in square and you want your image to take up the full screen of the video, you'll need to create a square aspect ratio for your image, one to one or 1080 by 1080. If your video is in a vertical aspect ratio, you'll need a nine to 16 ratio for your image, something like 1080 by 1920. Play around within those dimensions to create images of different sizes. Now it's time to set your image's duration. So along the timeline here, you can select this image icon to see the full duration of your image, and you can adjust the start and end points of your image, and also drag the full image to overlay different parts of your video. You can do this with as many images as you want to make your video more dynamic for your audience. Now Riverside also has a bunch of other tools here that you can use to make your video more appealing. You can do things like adding dynamic captions or even branding your video to fit your style. If you want more of a walkthrough of how to use the editor and what tools are available to you, you can head to the video linked above next. When you're ready to export, just hit this export button and you can export in up to 4K. This video will be ready to download from your studio's dashboard shortly. Adding images to your videos is a powerful way to enhance your storytelling, provide clarity, and engage your audience. With Riverside, this process is not only straightforward, but also packed with possibilities to elevate your content. Please feel free to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out with me today. My name is Bridget, and I'll see you in the next one.